Hey everybody. Um, I'm sure the first thing that you're thinking at and you're looking at here is you're looking at all that color in the background and going, what the heck is Chris Barron doing with all that color? And uh, quite frankly, I'm downstairs and I'm getting ready to start some of the work that I have for uh, symposium and uh, getting the work done. So there's tons that we have to do. Uh, but I just had this thought because we just finished up with a um, with Chris Moody and I uh, doing every Wednesday we do a um, a program uh, called GPS and uh, we ran through an interesting program today and we were talking about the whole thing is is, is called powerful openings and um, quite interesting there's a, there's a thing that we we talk about in here and I know that I've done a seminar on this before uh, about um, uh, about par, you know, that if you want to have a powerful opening that it is, you want to poke at some pain, uh, you know, so the par is pain, poke at the pain, A is associate with it, and then R is the result. So the whole idea is, is that what you want to do is you want to make sure you're connecting with people. And so many people walk on stage, they step on stage and they just say, hey, hi, my name is Chris and uh, uh, you guys are a really fine looking bunch of people. Uh, the reality is, is that in some of the things that go along with memory is that there is, um, there's called what's called primacy and recency. And that just means nothing more than um, if you are doing a, a program, people are always going to remember the first thing that comes out of your mouth and the last thing, primacy, recency. Those are two of the, two of the many things that, that link into, um, uh, into memory. However, you have to remember whenever you're doing a, a, an amazing program, when you walk away from an amazing program, there's a couple of things that happen. Number one, if you have to connect with your audience immediately. And then number two is, is that you want to make sure that uh, whatever you're doing is you are uh, enrolling them in. You're pulling them into the conversation. You're making sure that they want to play, as we call it, want to participate. And the other thing is that you want to keep them engaged, and that comes through the interactivity. Now, if you always remember, connect, enroll, engaged. The idea behind that is always that if you're, um, whenever, the first thing that you've got to do right off the top of the bat is to, is to poke at their pain. And you can do that with stories. You can do that with a, a couple of questions. So uh, the idea of poking at pain, what might be is, let's say, we had one, one girl that was on our program today, and I, I, I found it really actually quite engaging because she was talking about um, her uh, a balayage class that we're doing. And, and you know whether you, you may or may not know that what we do with the GPS is we have uh, two types of programs that we do or two types of sessions we do. One is what we call Learn It, where we're actually, Chris Moody and I are actually teaching something and the other would be is that where people are getting uh, coached on it and that's where the accountability comes from. So the week prior we had given them an assignment uh, based on PAR, based on what they learn on PAR, pain associate results is to put together like a three or four minute opening presentation and then uh, we'd coach them on it. And it's interesting when people's uh, opinion of PAR and what they get out of PAR is that um, PAR is you want to make sure that you're, you're hitting at some kind of deep uh, emotional state that people have because the idea is, remember, the main reason why people are coming to your program is because they have a problem and if you can solve the problem then uh, that's why they keep coming back and that's actually what they're paying the money for. Whether it's a, a free class that you're doing, they're coming for something, and whether you're doing something that costs a lot of money, people are coming to have a problem solved and that's why they're signing up. So the way that you can get them to pull into it immediately, hey Scott, good to have you on board. Marjorie, nice to have you on board. Um, if, if you find that in, in you're doing a program and you want to connect with them right away and if you want to learn more about about doing it. Scott, if you want to learn more about doing it, and if you like what's going on in here, just say, say, I like it, you know, just give me a thumbs up, like it, so that I know that you're, that this is good information for you. Uh, Carol, good to see you on board, girl. So the idea is, is if you want to connect with your audience, you want to do it right away. So, and that can come from just poking at a little bit of pain. So this girl in particular, she was talking about her, uh, her experience at a balayage class and uh, she was talking about doing it and then had not having any, uh, when she had a, uh, did her what points of light, and I find it interesting, I'm talking about balayage and I have color in the back end and you guys know me as a design guy. But the reality is this, is, is you've got to poke at the pain so people understand uh, that you have had it as well. Meaning that if you're, if you're doing a balayage class saying that, look at I, 
I, the first time I did my balayage and uh, the points of light, I guess as you call it, you want to take a strong point of light there where it, uh, it starts to go from that point of light and fade out too, as I understand it. Um, and she said, if, you, if you've really got to hit onto it and say, look, at, I, I looked at this point of light, I did my point of light when the client was done, I looked at it and I went, not only is there not a point of light there, uh, I was completely flabbergasted because there was nothing there. And to the point was what she said is she wanted to, she was, um, didn't want her other teammates to see it. And so in our coaching that we gave her, we said, look at, you've really got to go a little bit deep and you've got to make sure that you paint a picture. And so we said to her, look at, imagine if you were on the stage and you were, this is the first thing out of your mouth. And you said, look at, I was, as a matter of fact, when I saw that there was no point of light, I actually took my, my, uh, my jacket and I opened it up to cover my my mannequin because there was no way that I was I wanted to see that I couldn't do it and that it wasn't there I was that's how embarrassed I was and then to say to your audience look at how many people know what I'm talking about if you've had that kind of pain before give me a thumbs up or give me a hoot and a holler whatever that might be because whenever you're poking at pain you've got to make sure that you're identifying what the emotion is that it, that they're going through like how many people that find that it's you're embarrassed because it, it, you, from what your teammates are looking at or you might be just you're, you're so confused and frustrated because you've been told what to do you seem to be doing it over and over again and then it it uh it, it's that's the emotion you're going through if you, if you had those emotions stay along with me now, the way that you bring that all the way around, because uh, as Chris and I were talking about, we said, look, it, you can't just make it so painful that they're going, OMG, this is, it's not even painful to watch. You have to turn that around and associate with it by telling them that story and so that they identify with you, they connect with you. But then what you have to do is say, look, it, um, since then, what I've done is I've learned, I've learned three key things. The big thing here, notice how I said, three key things that I want to share with you because you don't want to say, here's the three things that I've learned. That's your content. Because if you say, I learned this, I learned this, I learned this, they'll go already, well, I know that, or I've learned some form of that. And there's no need for me to watch or to stay tuned. So you never tell them what it is that you're going to tell them. You tell them, look, at there's three things, or there's five things, or there's six key things that I've learned in how to do this that if you do these things successfully, that you'll associate with it. Now, the next part of it is you've got to say, look, at here's the results. Now, remember, results are always stats. Stats can be a feeling that you've gone through. Stats can be numbers that you have. So the way, remember, if you said at the beginning, I was embarrassed, at the end of the program, you say, look, at based on what I learned, what I want to share to you is these three key things. And what I've learned since then, I've become more confident in what I've done and what I'm doing. Since then, I've become an authority within the salon or within the region of, of this uh, particular topic. And now I'm super confident in it and I'm having great results. And my results are that I'm getting actually since I started. Now remember what I'm doing here is a before and after. So I'll say before I started, I wasn't confident. I was only doing one or two uh, balayages a week and quite frankly, they scared the hell out of me. Now, after applying these three to four things that I'm going to share about with you in the class, I'm fully confident, I'm seen as an expert, and not only that, but my, intra, uh, my, my, uh, my paycheck has gone up by 25% in this one area. How many of you would like to have at least a 15 to 20% increase in what you do? Now, I promise you, if you apply these things and you do those things when they go along, uh, when, when you're doing them in your class, the way that you're setting up par, pain, associate results, if you give them that results, those, if you give them those results at the end, I promise you, they'll stay connected. It's your first point. So remember, you want to get them connected and buying in straight away. You want to keep them enrolling. So this actually, this pain association results, as we call it, par, is an opening, but it also is an opening for every segment. So if let's say you've got three subsections within your balayage, do your major opening. You can tell your story about how uh, about the grief you've had. Then revisit each one of those as you're going along. If you've got three subjects, subject number one, here was the pain that I had. I had you know, how many of you had this? So you can set it up with two questions or a story. How many of you had that, that, that similar experience? I've had it too, that's your association. And then say, here's the results. Here's what I want to share you what to do. So you can not only do it at the beginning, 
but you can do it at the, at the beginning of each beginning of those subsections that you have to do within. So always remember, keep them connected. If they're connected at the beginning, they'll stay enrolled all the way along. And then how do you keep them engaged as you're doing it by making everything interactive. So I hope this, uh, with, if, this is, if this has helped, say it helps. You know, if, you're, if you like more of this, and if you like more of this, say want more. If you type those in, then I know that I can give you. And as I've always said, if you have something that you want to talk about, uh, do, just type it in here. Uh, you can go to uh, chris at chrisbaron.com and just, uh, just uh, give me a heading that you want me to talk about. Uh, Scott, glad to see this is helping. So if you guys do that, and I'll make sure that I've got plenty of more of these coming along so I can help you with these quick tips each and every day. So in the meantime, good luck. God bless. Love you all.